Good morning. This is my second video for today. Um, I just read a, a, one of my um, sisters in the Lord on here. She was asking me a question. Uh, and, and I'm just going to paraphrase it. Basically, she was asking me, um, you know, like some of my struggles, uh, you know, with fasting and uh, and it, when you fall down and, uh, you know, basically my experience with falling in love with Jesus and and fasting and stuff. So I probably probably um, I don't want to confuse anybody. So. What I want to say is this. Um, when, I, when, when I was about seven years old, I gave my life to Jesus. Well, God filled me with the Holy Spirit. And, and when I felt that feeling, I cried so hard and I was so grateful to God. So I always knew that he was real. I always knew that he was real. So when I... When I was 12 is when I really started being rebellious. Like my grandfather had his own church. My daddy didn't go to church with us, but he made sure we went with my mother. So when I got around 12 years old, I got to the point I was fast. You know, I had them hips and all that cute shape and everything. So I had them little boys coming at me. So I was fast. And so I got to the point where I really didn't even want to go to church with my, with my mother now. So I started hiding in the closet. And what I mean by that was my father, he w he was at home. So I would hide in my closet in my room so that he didn't know that I didn't go to church. And my mother, she, you know, she she didn't force me. So with that being said, as I got older, all the sin that I committed, I would count it. I would count it literally because I knew I was sinning against God. And I would always say, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me, even though. I was out there, you know, I still knew I was wrong and I still, you know, basically desire God's mercy and ask for forgiveness in my sin. So when I when I got 20 and, and throughout all that time, even though like my sisters and them always said, Joy kept a man, I always kept a little guy friend. But even in that, I was always lonely always lonely. It was like I was looking for this one particular love, like, like this love. I knew it. I knew what it felt like, but I just was never reaching it. So when I met Greg, uh, you know, when I met Greg, we got together. We, we met in that February of 1998. No, I'm sorry. Of 1995. And we were living together by October of 1995 or something like that. So in 1998, I got saved. And when I got saved, I wasn't trying to get saved. I, this girl at my job invited me to her church. I came in the front way, but the front way was the back way. I tried to zoom up out of there because I didn't want to be sitting on nobody front bench in no church. Mm. And they saw me. They said, ma'am, come on over here and sit down. So I sit down. Instantly, that same Holy Spirit, that same feeling that came on me when I was seven hit me. It just took me just like it did when I was seven. I had no choice. It just took me. It's like God said, it's time for you to come home. And it just, I, I didn't say fill me with the Holy Spirit. I didn't, say, I didn't say it when I was seven. And I didn't say it when I was, what, 25. He, it just, he just did it. And so he filled me with the Holy Spirit. And when he came up on me, that same feeling I had when I was seven, that I was looking for in these men. There it was. So I was looking for this love. Oh, ever since then, that I just couldn't, I couldn't find it. But it was Jesus. It was him. That's him. And the thing about it is, I never found him. He came to me. <laughs> when I least expected it. So the love I was looking for in these men, it was always Jesus. That's who I was looking for. I just didn't know it. I just didn't know it. So when God saved me, it was like, I can't explain. It was incredible. And I was saved, sanctified.
crucified and Holy Ghost filled everything I had a desire for before Jesus, it was gone. I didn't want it. I only wanted God. And I was going to do whatever I had to to get to him like I wanted to. Because he was not far from me. The Bible says he's nigh thee even in thy mouth. Just say his name. And every time the enemy tried to kill me, all I said was Jesus. And there Jesus was. He always been there for me. <laughs> so... <laughs> Even when I feel lonely, it's not because God left me or it's not because I need a man. It's because I'm moving away from him.